So problem zero of 100, an object is kept on an inclined plane, resolve the gravitational force into parallel and perpendicular components with respect to inclined plane. So you're given an inclined plane, the mass is kept on the inclined plane. Is it possible for you to resolve the gravitational force into parallel and perpendicular components if x and y are defined as shown and let's make it simple let's assume that the angle theta theta is the angle that the inclined plane makes with the horizontal let's assume it is 30 degrees and the mass is given so gravitational force is of course w equals mass times gravity and gravitational force always acts vertically down how to resolve the gravitational force vector into parallel and perpendicular components. Again, welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. This is 90 degrees. So what is this angle? Let's assume that is alpha and this is theta. All right, alpha. And what is alpha? You know that alpha plus 30 plus 90 equals 180. So what is alpha plus 120 equal 180? So what is alpha equal to 180 minus 120? And it is 60. So alpha is 60 degrees. So what is the angle that the gravitational force makes with the vertical? So let's define the new horizontal and vertical as x and y. So with respect to the new so-called vertical, what is the angle that the gravitational force makes? And that is 30 degrees. So whatever, whatever is the angle that the inclined plane makes with the horizontal that is the angle that the gravitational force vector makes with the vertical so we can resolve any vector into parallel and perpendicular components the parallel is w parallel w parallel and the perpendicular is w perpendicular and here is the gravitational force w and the gravitational force vector makes 30 degrees with the vertical, so-called vertical. So this is your y and this is your x, all right? So w is, let's, for example, let's assume that w is 5 units long. If w is 5 units long, then, then if you measure the w parallel, you will see it is about 1 and 2, 2.5. So W parallel becomes 2.5 when we measure it. How about W perpendicular? W perpendicular, let's assume it's 1, 2, 3, 4, about 4.33 roughly. And W is square root of 2.5 squared plus 4.33 squared. And that should be equal to 5, correct? So that's how you get the parallel and perpendicular components, all right? Okay, parallel component of the gravitational force, W parallel, always acts towards the base of the inclined plane. So for mass M1, it is to the left. W parallel is to the left. For mass M2, W parallel is to the right, okay? So what is W parallel? W parallel is Wx. W perpendicular is Wy. Hypotenuse is W. All right. So what is sine theta? Sine theta. So we have Wx and this is Wy, correct? So what is sine theta? Sine theta is opposite, opposite side to theta divided by hypotenuse. So what do we get? Opposite side of theta is Wx and the hypotenuse is W. 
W X equals W sine theta. What is cosine theta? Cosine theta is W Y over W. So what is W Y equal to W cosine theta? So W X equals W parallel and the magnitude of that and the magnitude of that equals equals W sine theta the magnitude of the perpendicular component cosine theta and this is George Matthew signing off good luck